How come we in Holland don't know Burnley? I can't understand it. <laughs> Why are you so ignorant? <laughs> Well, it gets in your blood, I love it. Burnley is in your blood? Oh, yes. Yeah, I've got what they call Clarington Blue Eyeballs. <laughs> well, our job is to get the, the pitch in a playable condition. If the referee comes in, unfortunately it isn't playable, and he puts it off, well, there's nothing we can do about that. You won't have a sleepless night Friday night? I know, I had one last night, actually. <laughs> and possibly tonight. And possibly Friday night, but uh, after that, there's nothing we can do. There's no more we can do. It's up to the referee after that. What do you think of the match? Great draw for us. Uh, take him back to Anfield. Meet him there. Yeah, <laughs> This match against Liverpool, is that the match of the year for Burnley? I think it is, yeah. I mean, it, it's got to be. I mean, there's no other, other team like it, really, except uh, Manchester United. So, I mean, it is a big... Big day, uh, big day for Burnley Football Club, yeah. It's a very important game. I mean, you know, they're a big club and uh, we're expecting a good game. You're an Evertonian, you're a fan of Everton, so you must be playing a good game. Yeah, and, yeah, I mean, they're not one of my favourite teams uh, with being an Evertonian, but, you know, it's nice to play against them and I'm happy it's a turf more because I think we've got a good chance. If you are an Evertonian in England, does that mean that you hate Liverpool? I hate Liverpool, yeah. I don't yeah. like them at all. From the no. bones? Yeah, I was brought up from, you know, since I'd be able to walk. Um, my dad took me the game week in, week out. And we were brought up to hate the, uh, you know, the Reds. So, uh, you know, nothing's changed. I still don't like them. When, when, this, when the stand was built, this was originally my private office, uh -huh. the secretary's office. You have a lot of memories on this room? Well, I wasn't in uh, very long. In fact, uh, I have some unpleasant memories because my assistant um, secretary, uh, we were operating from over the Ensley stand, which is now the Ensley stand at the time. I just moved in here on my own. And unfortunately, he came across the scene and he actually died in this room. He had a heart attack. And he was only 47. So it's, it has an unpleasant memory because he was a great friend of mine as well. Fairly spoken, do you have a chance against Liverpool? Yeah, I mean, as you say, we're just playing a turf more. It gives us, you know, it's going to be a full house and the majority of fans are going to be on our side. So, uh, yeah, it's just a, a one off game and hopefully we can come up on top. Who will be your opponent Saturday? Uh, John Barnes. So it uh, should be quite a good day. <laughs> I think I'll be playing left back this week, uh, so I should imagine I'll be marking uh, Steve McManaman. So he's not too quick, so <laughs> I'll have to uh, keep him quiet. Do you bet in the club? No, no, no. It's no, it's no point really. I mean, if we did that, we'd be just causing more trouble. Really. If you put money on this game, who was your favourite? It was a neutral. If it was a neutral, I'd put on Liverpool, but I've seen them playing for Burnley, I'd put on Burnley. And then you lose money? I'd probably lose money, yeah. <laughs> Can you beat Liverpool? Can we beat Liverpool? We beat them many times in the past. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll do the same on Saturday. It should be a good game. But they're a good side, of course.